Hi everybody, this is Lonnie. I just got the new laser in. Um, I'm going to unbox it, hook it up, and I'll start messing around with it. Make a bunch of videos on it. Uh, subscribe to my channel, that way you get notified of the new ones as they come out. Um, but here we go. Top of the box, instruction manual. Next thing down, appears to be some pieces of metal. I guess to play around with it. And take this off. And we have the actual laser itself. zip ties and some screws and an allen wrench all in this bag here and then in this bag we have a little circuit board okay and that is all the contents of the box okay I'm going to save the box so I have some place to store this safe all right let me break away here for a second I'm going to change my setup here and I will record installation okay per the instructions the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that the power is off which it is okay we're gonna move this um, carrier up to where we can work on it and then we're going to move the head over to the side here to where we have access There's, on the back side of this there are four screws that hold this head in place we need to remove those four screws to take that head off okay I'm using a screwdriver instead of the included Allen wrench to do it and the nice thing about the screwdriver is there is a magnet in it so I don't have to worry about dropping the screws. Just be careful when you're doing it. The top two are fine. They're easy because you can see it. The bottom two that you, you really can't see. Uh, but if you look down from the side here, you can see the screw from the side. And it'll be the same way with this screw back here on this side here. Um, in order to get a straight on view of it, you'd have to flip the screen around if you walk around the back. But then the lid's in the way. So let me get all four screws out and we'll proceed. Okay, I've left one screw in on the top corner here, um, and that's so I can do this next step without having to worry about where the head is. Um, there is, on the back side of this, right here, there's a connector. Uh, you may or may not have your piece covered with a piece of tape. If you have the tape on there, you pull it back, and that will expose this junction right here. Okay? Let me move the camera closer okay that's a little bit closer but here's the connector you'll see there's a white part and then on the back side over here there's a little black piece when it's in that configuration right there it holds that ribbon in place the ribbon won't go anywhere what you're going to do is you're going to use a fingernail and just kind of pop that up it's very easy to do don't overdo it and break it but just pop once that's popped up then you can jiggle this cord a little bit and pull it out okay now that that's out, I can go ahead and I'm going to take out my last screw. I'm going to grab hold of it so I don't lose it. Okay, there's my last screw. I'll put in my little plastic tin with a magnet on the bottom of it so it don't go anywhere. Then I'm going to slide this back out of the way. Now I'm still attached here by the airline and I'm going to have to remove that so let me set this down softly okay now I gotta get a something I'll be right back okay holding the airline here there's a zip tie right there in between the nuts and you have to cut that in order to have access to it uh, but you need to watch there's wires right underneath of you and keep away from those wires um, so I've got some wire nippers here Sharp scissors might do it. I don't know. I'm going to use these. Um, but 
I'm going to turn the camera off while I do it so I can concentrate on it and I'll be right back. Okay, I removed that and here it is laying here. Now I'm going to need to get a wrench to separate these. I think it's going to take a wrench. Oh, no, nope, they're not on there very hard. So you just hold on here, twist your airline. Until it becomes free. I'm going to let the hose drop out of it. And then I'm going to put the nut back on here so that it does not get lost. Okay. So I put the nut back on without the airline. So you will end up with something like that. And that should hang there out of the way when you're done. Alright, the next step that you got to do is um, this circuit board right here is going to be replaced by the circuit board that came in the uh, instructions. So what I'm going to do, again, you may or may not have this piece of tape on here. Get that piece of tape pulled back. Okay, and then this uh, multi-pin connector here, carefully put your finger underneath the wires here, put your finger on top of the wires here, and try, if you can, to pull straight up on that. I think if you get fingernails, it might work even better. But give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, it shouldn't be so hard in the future. There was a piece of red tape that was actually helping hold that in there. Um, so now that, that piece of red tape's on off of there, it should go in and out fairly easy. Okay, now I'm going to um, pull the tape back, and just like we did the other place. I'm going to raise the back end of that black part so that I can pull the ribbon cable out. Ribbon cable's out. Now I have to remove the board. There are two, um, two screws that hold the board in place. I know you don't want to watch me do this, so let me pause it while I swap it out. Okay, a word of caution while Working with electronics and circuit boards, static discharge is your enemy. Always ground yourself to the machine. Just touch the metal before you touch any of these parts. Keep the little um, anti-static bag. Um, so I've taken the old one out. This is the one that goes in. Um, the Put the old one in the bag here, and comparing the two of them, the only difference that I see on my boards is the one that came out of the machine has got this little writing down here on the bottom that says lead free, and it's got some numbers on it. The one that I got with the new laser has no writing there on that corner. Um, so you're going to need to make sure that you can differentiate which is which so you don't get them um, mixed up. Um, don't write on these with permanent markers. They're, they're alcohol based. And that's not good for it. Um, you just need to figure out a way to, to keep the two of them differentiated from each other. Okay, then I'm going to take the circuit board that came with it. I am going to get this aggravating piece of tape out of the way. I'm going to drop it into place. 
and then I need to put the two screws back in it. Those four screws that were in the bag, uh, all the ones that I've taken out are the same size, so they've given you those in case you drop one or lose one in some other way. Okay, so I'm putting the screws in the motherboard or the mini board and securing it down. You don't have to crank them on real tight, just snug them. Okay, now this multi wire that I took out from before needs to go back in there. And the easiest way to do this is align once align the right side, look at the left side, and when it's at the line, push straight down. Okay? And push on both sides, make sure she's down. Don't force anything. Um, you don't want to break anything. Okay, now I've got this ribbon cable. I pull up on the latch. I take the ribbon cable. I set it inside. And once it's inside, I push the latch down. And that should hold it in place. Okay. So now that that circuit board's in place and set, now what I can do is I can go over and I can and put the laser back in, the new laser back in. Take the old one out, it's all disconnected. Alright, so here's the new one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the screws and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, now your bottom ones are going to be by feel, unless you're like me and you have a spare mirror laying around. Um, you can put the mirror at the back at an angle and then you can look straight in the mirror and see what you're doing back here on the back side. You still have the mirror correction that you have to deal with, but once you get uh, left and right figured out, get your screws started in place. Like I say you don't have to tighten them all the way. Just get them started. And once you get all four of them in there, then you tighten them down. All right, doing this, um, having something with a magnet on it is a godsend. Um, you're going to line the top screws, put them in, but don't snug them down all the way, just in case you got to move it a little bit. And... So the top ones are in. I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom ones and I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, I got all four screws in there. You don't have to wrench them down, you just got to make them tight. And now I need to connect the ribbon cable here. So I'm going to pull up on the back side of it. Then I'm going to take my ribbon and I am going to seat it in there as best I can. Once it's in there, I'm going to push down on the bar, and that should lock it into place. Okay, double check everything. Um, just a second. Okay, um, now it's installed and ready to go. Um, it didn't take as long as I thought it would, and I'm pretty sure subsequent installs and uninstalls will be much quicker. All right, let's play games. Okay, I have powered it up, and I've opened the, up the canvas and make it. And you look over here where it normally says 20 watts, it now says 2 watts. With a little green light, which means I'm connected to the machine. Now let's engrave something. 